Greetings, mortals. I am, as always, the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's That Indie, where strategy, tactics, and survival indie games punch you in the face with how good they are, or aren't. Let's find out today. Today's impression is AOD, the Art of Defense, which, as far as I can tell, is a mobile game ported to Steam and free to play. It's a free to play former mobile game. That should set off massive amounts of alarm bells, but we're going to go through it and have a look anyway. So, the main thing you can tell is, which gives away its free-to-play status, is the trader. Where well, I can buy a thousand crystals for 149, 3,000 for 374, 10,000 for 11. This must be in dollars. You can also buy gold bars. Gold bars are used to upgrade. To upgrade, you need to use crystals. Crystals are used, obviously, for money. Crystals are also used to use your super weapons. Fuel is used to restart. And obviously the badge is extra damage per week. So you can straight up buy extra damage on your single player game. Now I'm obviously in the golden badge because I've literally just booted up the game. It's just I thought I'd give it a try. So you get three days of everything awesome. And then you have to pay weekly. It's only two quid, but two quid a week is a bit much. Now, how's the game work? It is a tower defense game where you're towering in defense. So you have like a defense mode. Then there's an escape mode where the enemy comes from your base. You have to stop them escaping. Then there's a fog mode, which I don't get the point of. It basically covers the map in fog. But if you've already played defense and escape, you kind of know where the tower slots are. Then there's survival, which is, you know, just straight up survive as long as possible. Now... Let's do this mission I've never done, and use my 100 fuel to battle it. You see where this is going? Fuel is getting used. What is that? That's a massive... Let's place down a hologram. This weapon slows down enemies. Okay, fine. But of course, it's got to be anything useful. Use the booster! As you can see, 400. So you can straight up buy... What is that? Straight up buy power. Which obviously isn't good. Now, I will give it one massive, massive thing. The world is very much cohesive. The towers look like they're meant to be there. The enemies look like they're meant to be there. The world looks like it's meant to... Oh, I didn't build that. It's meant to be there. What does that mean? It means that when you attack something, or when something attacks you, it actually feels like the world is meant to be part of it. As you can see, we have apocalyptic vehicles and troops. We have apocalyptic uh, positions. We have like half tracks. Not half tracks, what they're called, technicals. We have like a petrol station with a flamethrower on top. We have destroyed bases and things. Everything you see looks like it is, in fact, supposed to be where you see it. Which in some games obviously does not appear that way. I played a lot of tower defense games where they throw everything in the kitchen sink and nothing looks like the world is meant to have it. It's a big thing for me, aesthetics. But the game plays very well. Every single turret and unit, you can tell exactly what it is. Like you can see the tank slowly turns and things. You can, yeah, like I say, you can tell exactly what it is. You can also tell what level they are. Blue is starting level. Green is next level. So if something is green, it's level 2. Something is blue, it's level 1, and so on. So you're never going to get confused over what everything is. And that's also missed out on a lot of tower defence games. If I upgrade something, I want to see it look bloody different from other things. I don't want to just see it look like every other vehicle. Or every other tower. I want to see it look unique. Let's build one of these. Build a siege house. A siege house is literally a house full of soldiers firing out the windows. There we go. But yeah, it's pretty simple as you can see. Upgrade. Obviously there's only so many levels. There's also heroes in the game. Uh, as far as I can tell, they exist. The enemy also has heroes as far as I can tell. Because occasionally you get a character covered in an orange bar, which takes a lot more damage. Now as you can see, you have these massively awesome power-ups. This gives you more damage, this gives you money, and this wipes out everything on the screen. Unfortunately, you have to use your crystals. Which, you think, look, there's that boss I was talking about. Which you either get from, like I've said, spending lots of money. Or, by completing missions. So you can get stuff by completing missions, it just takes longer. So it is very much pushing to you 
Like, you don't have to use them, as they say. It's only optional. It's not optional. That's the first drawing. Because my information of the drawings must be somewhere close. Yeah, it's only optional. It's not optional. They're forcing you to use it. I go on to upgrade things. I have to use my gold. As you can see, I've been heavily upgrading my minigun. This now does armor piercing. And this allows me to get this hero? But yeah, obviously I'm going to spend more money and get that later. So yeah, you can see the towers and things. Other mines. Eh. Not really found a use for them yet. But yeah, let's uh, do this expensive looking one. Luckily we're not using my fuel yet. Because again, fuel is unlimited for the first three days of playing it. So you can give this free to play game a free to play try. Before you free to play buy. That's an AA gun at last. Okay, put that there. Gas station, gas station. Now I want to, I can cut this area off completely. But I don't really have the equipment to do that. So, uh, fine. Might just screw myself over. Huh, never mind. Never mind entirely. Enemies in the air are spotted in the sector, so we're going to have anti-air units. Just okay, we'll get stuff going on. There we go, burn them all. So yeah, we're going to need to get anti-air units up and running soon. Uh, 500, not too much. I wasn't actually able to do the survival mission, because... I didn't have anti-air, and anti-air is actually in the survival mission, even though you haven't unlocked it yet. Fast cars, regular cars, but yeah, I love the aesthetics. Not the biggest of fan of all the free-to-play stuff chucked in to force you to buy stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure the first three days isn't them being kind. It's for them to teach you that you like playing lots of missions in one go before you, you know, can't. That's how it usually goes. Oh, it's a Sam, it's a Sam truck. But yeah, the aesthetics, everything that fits in. It's nice. I haven't seen too much in the way of things. I know the enemy has a drone coming on. Because I fought that in the survival mode. But yeah. Do we win? They also overheat, I've noticed. Uh oh. Do we win? Yes, we win. By a lot. Oh, here come the drones. Send in the drones. So only the SAM sights fire. The miniguns have not learnt to shoot up. It's an odd one, but there you are. One missile? Really? Let's have another one then. I was expecting at least two. Oh, I actually turned the music off, didn't I? I was going to do something with that. No, I didn't turn the music off, did I? No, I didn't. Now, one thing I'm not a fan of is... Obviously, a lot of things. I love the aesthetic. I love how the game works. Don't know where the music is. <coughs> That's new. I would, of course, like it if... Um... Uh oh I obviously would, of course, like it if... You could get more things going on while it being free to play. It very much does feel like here's a teaser taste. Now that you know what it tastes like, give me the money to keep doing that. And people do praise games to give you that, but the original three-day thing is very much to get you hooked on what's being offered. It's not there to be generous. If you think it is, you've been hooked in. But yeah, the game looks nice. It actually plays really well. People are like people are hitting on it for like you know being a basic game. It works really well. For what it is, like, let's get this here. Let's see what it does. Like I say, if it weren't for the free-to-play thing, I'd actually really like this cards. There's cards? Why is there cards? Heroes, okay. Okay, how about how do I use him? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what happens when you complete an area. Why well, is this getting more advanced? 
Oh, there's a speed up thing. Okay, so we're going to have them go either way. So let's have a minigun there. Flamethrower. We go either way. Flamethrower there. And there. Let's have another uh, gunner here and here. Of course, I won't get to the very end, but at least get close. Which way are they going to go? That way. Okay, that's one. Let's get one of these. It's a siege house. That was easy. Let's get another siege house. Now, I wanted to. I could just completely block off one area, I think. I'm not sure how that would work. So obviously, they're trying to path towards them. Eh, I'll take a bit of gold. So, yeah, it gives you a couple of handouts to make you feel like you're doing better. Now, we did this properly. I probably have them path all the way up here and down again. But, hmm. Since the tank has really limited range, it seems to have better range than most of my regular vehicles. Like, the miniguns are really close range. Very odd. Oh, look at that car go at uh, double speed. Of course, you get more money again the earlier you click it, just as ever you have a tower defence. Game. God damn it, seriously. Oh, one hit, that's my first hit ever. Where was I build one here then? Right, well, stop it. Now what? Does it only go to the other side now? Am I ruined this? Oh yeah, it only goes that way now. That tank does not turn fast. Hmm. Alright. Look at these armored trucks, which have troops in them. See, I'm loving the variety of enemies. Like I say, they fit into the world. It's really nice. Just this. Yeah, I wouldn't say that was good. Would not say that was good. Yeah. That's all money I can get from that. Look at that, still money left. Could do it again. What's this? Like, a truck. Carrying two four-wheelers. Trucks carry four-wheelers? Huh. SUV, trucker, drone, fisher. Huh. Special force. They're special forces? They die pretty quickly. I like that. Let's go have a quick look. Let's look at uh, this one. So yeah, so you get a rough idea of what you're doing. You get a rough idea of what's going on. We maybe we'll do a survival. Uh, gonna block it off. Not much money to start with. <sighs> Two siege houses. Why not? You can also do this, which goes through. Like as you can see, I have access to this, which literally just blocks off territory. That's all it does. It's a dirt cheap territory blocker. As you can see, these aren't the best. At all. This one is going to be tough. See this, it's encouraging me to use my equipment. Which obviously I can't really afford. Which, yeah. So the game is encouraging me to try and use my stuff. So it is a little bit pay to winning. Do you get things wrong? Hey, you can do it again. Just, you know, pay us. Look at my miniguns are very heavily upgraded. But they are different coloured troops. Look at that. You get green audio elites. Okay, I just know it's going to start sending AA. Yeah, there we go. That's the AA. What? Tell me they walk through both AA units. 
I just well, flew through, whatever. Oh, it takes ages to reload, look at that. Oh well. But yeah, again, with most like uh, defense games, you can usually win it using a certain basic turret. That's annoying. That's very annoying that one got through. Oh well. Yeah, it works well. It plays well. It obviously is annoying. Bloody hell. That a... It's not going to stop. It's not a crossroad and everything. I don't know why that's there. Uh, but yeah, it's, it actually is very technically competent, which is pretty damn good for these kind of games. Not seen most of them aren't. But yeah, the free-to-play stuff with the monetization could be a very, very big issue depending on how it's handled. And it does feel like it is designed to make you want to spend all the money. Which usually isn't that bad, but it depends on how aggressive it is. Like right now you're just getting a taste, but there's timers, like you use fuel to attack bases. You get a hundred fuel, that's ten bases, so if you're going to play more than ten times a day, you're out of luck. And that's where the aggressiveness comes in. If you go, oh it's only cosmetic or whatever, oh it's only your choice. But if you're forced to not play a game for some of the day, then it's not really a choice, is it? Not really a choice at all. Okay, uh, so. Can't win. These anti air units are really expensive for something which fires a single shot. I need 1,000 to bring down two of them. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, very expensive, what they are. Four of them! Is this telling me I need to pay to wipe them out? Four anti-air four anti -air units are now needed. Maybe three, let's have a look. One, two, three. Oh, just. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's alright, it's competent, it works really well. I'd recommend giving it a try for like three or so days before the money runs out. And then, then I'd definitely recommend finding a different game. Because otherwise you're going to start getting frustrated with how it's trying to make you pay more money in. But if you like it, maybe you want to pay money in. Unfortunately, there's no just pay to enjoy the game. It's basically a monthly fee tower defence game, weirdly enough. But there you are. I'll be honest, I don't think I'd want to go down that road. I really don't think I'd want to go down this road. <coughs> about that? Very, very slow. Yeah, it's fun. It's enjoyable. Um, again, Christie's. <coughs> Some of that. Again, it depends how much you like it. As soon as the money comes in, I don't think I can recommend it at all. So three days of fun, then it's your decision. But either way, ciao for now. Be awesome. Be epic, and I will see you next time. Christie's again.